Good morning. How do you do, sir? You ready to make some rope? Yes, sir. Rope making. I've never seen it done before. Ruth and Oral Lowry are as close as you can get to experts, I suppose. Uh, oh, I get to wear that? Yeah, yeah. Let you do the work. Oh, all right. It all goes all the way around my waist. With Mrs. Lowry on one end, me on the other, Mr. Lowry begins stringing twine back and forth. I can do this part. <laughs> this is nothing new for Oral and Ruth. They started with a 200-acre dairy farm, time, right. four horses and 27 cows. They needed lots of rope. That was years ago. Yeah, we made the, we actually made the first rope, I think, in 31 or 32, 33. Oh, in the summer, I don't know what. 30, man. She says 30, so it must have been. Now, the crucial piece. Oral calls it the rope key. It keeps the three groups of strands separate while they're being twisted. Am I ready to go? You're ready to go. So you turn the crank to twist the twine that wraps the rope. Great. Now it's starting to sprinkle. Is the man in the middle as important as the folks on either end? He oh, sure is. He's he let, the important one. If, if, he, if he let this go too fast, the rope won't be any good. Now Ruth and I twist together. The rope forms in the middle. Yeah, turn. Well, I know you get close together now. There she goes in the rope. Do I keep turning? You bet. Same speed she does. Woo. That's it. That's it. Turn over two. There you go. Number one. I have become a rope maker. <laughs> the next a 50 footer as the rain falls. By the time it's strung, you've walked a bit. <laughs> I'll tell the world. You walk a lot of miles. We've made as high as 85 ropes in one day. 85. Uh, how about backing them, getting underneath that trail, the trail there? All right. I Can don't it? know how yeah, dry right. Mrs. Lowry was. I'm sure Oral was drenched. Still, we twisted that length until it was finished. Ruth wriggled out of her harness and headed for the porch. Mr. Lowry lashed the end so we'd have a rope he said we could rely on, like mother's love. Ruth and Oral Lowry don't mind getting roped into things as long as they're the ones who make the rope. Yeah, you got a point there. <laughs> Near Hebron, Ohio. This is Andy Johnston. Oh.